Hey guys, welcome to another review by Trantix. Now today's video is going to be of a brand new company located right here in Toronto. It's of some juice that they make and that company's name is Easy Vape Toronto. Now this place is for the beginner e-cig user all the way up to the advanced level users uh, meaning you're going to find all your different types of mods whether or not you want a variable volt you want a mechanical mod you want tanks atomizers e-juice so on and so forth they sell everything and not only do they sell what you need but they have a full tasting bar so that means instead of going to the store buying the juice coming home trying it out and thinking Bleh, what did I buy this for tastes like garbage you can actually go here, sit down, relax, enjoy the juice, taste the juice. They have over 50 tongue tied. They have over 50 flavors of juice to try to, to, to buy. Uh, so you're gonna find any anything you're into, whether it's tobacco, uh, dessert flavors, uh, pops, juices, so on and so forth. They have it all. You can sit down, relax, try it and then decide whether or not you like it and buy it. So I find that very interesting as there's no other place that I'm aware of here in Toronto with a actual vape bar. So having one finally this close to home instead of traveling other provinces, other cities, so on and so forth. I have one right here in my own backyard. So once again, this place is called Easy Vape Toronto and they are located at 634 Young Street. That's downtown Toronto. It's on the second floor. I believe there's a uh, a burrito place right underneath it. I could be wrong, but now there's a burrito place underneath it. So look for that and they're right above it. So anyways, they were nice enough to send me uh, six bottle bottles of juice to try out. I'm only going to review three of them because uh, it's time consuming for you guys. Uh, not only that, but you're forced to stare at this. So instead of making you stare at this, we'll do my top three and then I'll remind you about the company, so on and so forth. And then uh, you'll see this pretty face again uh, very soon. But anyways, the first one we're going to try is called Mountain Dew Code Red. These are the bottles. I don't know if this light's adjusted proper or not, but hopefully you can see that. They got nice clear labels bright uh, underneath the cap you're gonna find really nice strip tip long thin fits in any hole so you don't have to worry about it it's gonna fit all your tanks all right whether they're big small whatever no leaking no dripping uh, great little bottles they're hard plastic so if you're looking for glass or whatever no it's hard plastic who cares it's a bottle but anyways so that's the bottle Little bit about the company and now I've got a tank it's already preloaded with this Mountain Dew code red it's a uh, K-Fun light plus black edition it's got an 8.0 atomizer the juice itself is a 30 70 blend 12 milligrams and uh, Mountain Dew code red we're gonna try it out gonna let you know what it's like and we'll go from there Okay, first thing, very juicy. It's a uh, very, it's got a very powerful, uh, obviously, uh, like a vapor feeling. The the moisture in your mouth, you, you can taste the juice. Not not physically the juice in here, but I mean, it's very very powerful, in a sense of, of vapor. You can taste it in your mouth very relaxing very pleasant feeling uh, there's no strong throat hit so if you want to inhale uh, a whole whole bunch of vapor and blow out those huge clouds like those sub uh, ohm chasers you're able to do that without having a powerful throat hit uh, lots of vapor uh, it definitely tastes uh, 
It tastes like Mountain Dew, but with a kick. And what I mean by the kick is it's more so almost like a spice in there. Almost, it's almost like a tobacco, but it's not a tobacco. Uh, yeah, it's some kind of a spice. It's got a kick to it. Very pleasant. Nothing wrong with that kick. I actually enjoy it. It seems to come out when you exhale. Uh, going in, you taste Mountain Dew. Exhale Mountain Dew with a kick. Somewhat like, uh, like I was saying, some, some kind of a spice or something like that. Very good nonetheless. Vapor production, as you can tell, I'll, uh, I'll show you again. Very nice, thick vapor. Throat hit, like I said, it's nice and mild. It's good going down, good coming out. Uh, can't say nothing wrong with it. Uh, that little bit of a kick though, it, it's different. But uh, I don't mind it, which is why I'm reviewing it. It tastes good. It's, it's, it's different. Very, you can smell the aroma too, like without tasting it. You can just smell the, the tank and you, you know what's in there. So you're quite surprised with this little bit of a kick at the end. So very good, not bad at all. And I guess I'm gonna take off, I'm gonna disappear. And no, we're gonna leave that till last. I'm gonna come back with some Melon Mania. Uh, yeah, this one, it's up there with one of my top, top five. Can't wait to try it. So anyways, I'm gonna disappear. And before you know it, I'm going to be back and you'll be looking at this. So, poof. Okay, guys, I'm back. Uh, see, did you miss me? Oh. Anyways, we're back with some Melon Mania. Correct? Uh, yes, Melon Mania. Once again, it's the 3070 blend, 12 milligrams. Uh, same tank, same device. So, don't expect anything different uh, other than the taste I'd imagine. Uh, yeah, so we're gonna give this a try. I'm gonna let you know what I know, I'll let you know vapor, so on and so forth. Anyways, here we go, you can stare at this. It lives up to the name. Uh, it's Melon Mania and you can taste instantly Melon, watermelon, a few others mixed in there. Very, very juicy. Uh, it's hard to explain, like I said, that, that juicy feeling. Like it, It's such thick vapor you're getting from it that it fills your mouth with this watering, mouth-watering taste. Uh, I haven't tried it any other place yet with that feeling. And to me, it, it, it makes me want more and more and more. It's so good going down, coming out, that juicy, thick feeling in your mouth. It's absolutely mouth-watering. Uh, fully lives up to the name. It, full melon taste. It, vapor production, as you can tell, thick. Nothing wrong with it. Uh, throat hit, same as the last. Same blend, so don't expect anything different. It, very nice, very mellow going down. Very relaxing coming out. It's one of those juices you're forced, you, you've got to vape another one. So I'm going to vape it, show you that cloud again, and we're going to move on. There you have it, the famous cloud. Uh, yeah, very good juice, recommend it, 110%. And uh, yeah, that's... Uh, Melon Mania. Now, the last one, I like to save the best for last. And this one's called Black Magic. And let me tell you, this thing, the moment, just smelling it, you have to vape it. And the moment I smelled it, it was the first one I tried, and I have very little left. I have enough for one tank. So I'm going to put my last bit in here and uh, use it up for you guys. And hopefully I'm going to convince you, like this juice has convinced me, to buy it, buy it, buy it. So, once again, this pretty little face that you're forced to stare at is going to vanish. 
and reappear with a fresh bottle of black uh, black magic. So, poof. And before you know it, I'm back once again, and this time I have some black magic in this tank. Same tank, same 8.0 atomizer, same everything, 3070 blend, 12 milligrams. We're going to have a go at this. Let me tell you, this, I don't even know how to explain the flavor. It, it, it's, it's sweet, it's uh, a little bit sugary, it, it, it's juicy, it, it, it's some kind of a melon, uh, multiple melons, I guess, and, and fruits. Uh, it's, I don't know, and, and somehow I taste like a black licorice or whatever you call it, uh, taste in there. It's absolutely juicy. Like, I try to explain that juice feeling with the other two. This one, it's, it's unreal. It, your whole mouth is just drooling with flavor. It's, I don't know. I, I haven't tasted anything like it. It's very, very good. It's now, I would say, number one, yeah, I'd say number one juice. Uh, flavoring tied with uh, a tobacco from another company that I recently recently reviewed. Uh, it's right up there, a must-have e-juice. If you're going to try anything, go there, sit down at the vape bar, and try this Black Magic. If you don't like it, well, I don't know. It's subject to, to uh, taste per person, but uh, up front, I think everybody is going to enjoy this one. It is absolutely juicy, amazing juice. It's, uh, once again, like I said, it's hard to explain the flavor exactly. There's so much happening on your palate that you can't focus on one fruit or, or one, one uh, anything. It, it's, there's so much going on and you just want more, 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 more. Very mouth-watering again, uh, very, very smooth coming out. It, it feels though, it's a little bit uh, warm going down and very cool coming out. Uh, it gives you that, uh, that feeling, uh, relaxful feeling. Great, great throat hit, very mild. And uh, as for the cloud, as you can tell, it's, uh, it's like the rest of them since I haven't changed the blend. But uh, I'll show you it once again. And then uh, we'll wrap this up and uh, go from there. So here we go. That's a little bit of black magic for you. Uh, yeah, great, great juice. I'm definitely going to buy this and add it to my personal collection. All of these flavors. There's not a thing wrong with any of them. Uh, there's one, the Dr. Pepper. I, I'm not uh, a fan of Dr. Pepper itself, but uh, I had a few friends taste it who love Dr. Pepper, and they found it uh, absolutely, it lives up to the name. But uh, as for that one, not my personal favorite, but uh, it's amazing according to people that love uh, the pop Dr. Pepper. But uh, yeah, so that's the review of uh, Easy Vape Toronto. I recommend all you guys get over there, try it out. If you don't live in the area, go online, uh, check them out there. If you live in the area, go down to 634 Young Street, uh, take a look around, sit down at the vape bar, taste some flavors, and uh, even let me know. Come to my website. Let me know what you think, especially of this Black Pearl. And, uh, yeah, I hope you guys enjoy. Try it out. And, uh, yeah, it's an amazing, uh, amazing little place. What can I say? So, I hope you guys enjoyed this review. I hope it wasn't too, uh, too long. I tried to do it uh, fairly quick, but with all the uh, proper information and so on and so forth. But uh, that's Easy Vape Toronto brand new to the city and uh, I hope to see you guys there I know I'm going to be making quite a few trips 
and uh, I'll see you guys soon. All right. So as always, guys, vape on and vape in public.